love it because I end up getting in such good shape. I bike like 14 miles a day because you do have to bike a lot during the day. The number one thing I recommend to bring is a bike basket. Now that's important for a couple of reasons. Number one, you cannot leave your trash anywhere. You cannot, um, they call it moop. Like Burning Man has its own little glossary of words, which I recommend if you're gonna go for the first time, just familiarize yourself or otherwise you won't understand what people are saying half the time. So um, you cannot be leaving trash or moop anywhere. And that includes even a cigarette butt, a piece of gum, um, obviously like your beer cans or whatever you can bring from your camp during the day with you. You cannot leave trash anywhere so um, it's really really helpful to just put it in your bike basket so you can bring it back with you in your camp and not litter anywhere or leave it in other people's camps also a bike basket is so helpful because you don't know for how many hours you're gonna be gone from your camp sometimes you leave in the morning and then the adventure just takes you God knows where and you come back in like seven hours later so you want to bring all the stuff all the necessities that you think you're gonna need through the day and you don't have to pack like a heavy backpack that you carry around with you so I would just pack myself a little Moscow mule in my um, reusable container or I would make like a little vodka soda and also bring water or bring a beer or, like bring whatever I'm gonna be drinking for the, the day and also give out to other people um, I'd also like pack a snack and pack all my necessities and even put like my little backpack in the bike basket so like I, I feel free I don't have to like carry anything on my shoulders it is just so so helpful to have a bike basket and I wouldn't leave that to the last minute either because I feel like a lot of people just kind of stop at the Walmart in Reno once they get into uh, the Burning Man area I mean Reno is like the closest civilization to the desert where Burning Man is so a lot of people end up stopping by the Walmart to like get the last things that they need um, you cannot risk that you cannot risk that there's certain things that you have to make sure that you have prior because sometimes the Walmart gets completely cleared out and there's nothing yet available so then you're just screwed you know so let's talk about the beauty aspect and that's something that I researched a lot when I went in because um, the climate there is something that you have never seen it is very harsh conditions Conditions. It is extremely hot during the day. Sometimes it can get really cold at night Like the, the temperatures can drop to 50 at night. So you have to have your um, Thick fur coat all that stuff as far as hair skin beauty and nails um, I got some advice for you number one thing figure out what you're gonna do with the hair um, I know a lot of people get really pressed over cultural ap appropriation or whatever braids on the playa are not necessarily a fashion statement they are a necessity people braid their hair because the alkaline sand will literally get in your hair and your hair just like becomes like one piece of clay basically and you can't brush it out you can't do anything with it you just look insane so doing a protective hairstyle like braids or even just like wrapping or like doing something that's gonna make your life easier and not ruin your hair and not make you look like you just came out of a trash can uh, make sure that you take care of that next thing is moisturizing your skin now like I said again the alkaline sand is so so unforgiving on your skin like it is literally the most drying fine powdery um, you know what alkaline means it almost it's like acidic so when it gets into your cuticles and it gets into like on your legs like here or like any like kind of crevice of your body um, it almost like eats away at your skin basically it sounds scary but it happens so make sure that you are moisturizing really well several times a day and the thing that I found that works the best is oils and specifically either jojoba oil or um, grapeseed oil um, I personally love 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 grapeseed oil because it's just like such a pure light oil and in my opinion it kind of emulates the same oil that your skin produces so when you put it on you don't feel oily like imagine like the last thing you want to be is in the desert like all like oily and have st sand stick to you like that is the last thing that you want but when you put on the grapeseed oil it just absorbs into your skin so well so it kind of gives you that like you know it just feels like your skin just like moisturized and you don't feel greasy and oily next let's talk about communication on the playa and that's something that you have to decide for yourself if you want to fully disconnect you can you're supposed to um, I try to disconnect as much as I can but if I want to find my friends and I want to use my phone I'm sorry sometimes you get yelled that people are like don't use your phone it's like let me be let me live my best life so since the Wi-Fi just dies in the first couple of days um, the one thing that my friends and I use is an app called fire chat this is not sponsored um, I don't know how it works it uses some kind of like GPS connection whatever the science is but basically it doesn't always work but it's still much better than trying to use iMessage or trying to text um, it kind of even detects if the person that's in your contact list on fire chat is nearby so sometimes like when my friends would come to visit me at my camp I get a notification on fire chat like oh like so-and-so is in the vicinity so I know they're around to look for them. So it's really, really helpful if you want to meet up with people or, you know, if you want to find a friend that you haven't seen all week because 
The thing about Burning Man that's like really interesting, sometimes you won't see your friends for days because people have such different sleep schedules. Sometimes they'll get lost and go on to one adventure. Sometimes you will, you come back and sleep, then they're gone. So um, if you wanna communicate with them, use fire chat. If you don't wanna use fire chat and you wanna do it the old school way, the one thing that my friends and I did, uh, we got like one of those whiteboards and we put it on the door of the RV. Um, so anytime we would come back to the camp, we would just write like Evelina and like a, a time log and like say where I, what I want next and then when I come back the person said like oh like here's the time log I'm here now so then we would find each other that way as well a couple basic necessities that you need that you need to order ASAP are obviously yield lights they're like these little string lights or any kind of lights you want to make sure that you put them on your bike you put them on your clothes at night you do not want to be one of those people I forgot what they're called like there's there's certain like big no-nos of Burning Man and that oh something like your you're dark, I forgot. Um, but basically you do not want to be like a dark person on the plaque because somebody can hit you and then it like it ruins their day too. You want to be able to see every single person, every single vehicle, everything that's going by. So make sure you buy lots and lots of lights, lots of batteries. And that's like a pretty obvious one, but one specific tip that I had, I remember when we got to Burning Man, which is a, a journey within itself. Like nothing about Burning Man is supposed to be easy, you know? Not like there's so many people that just like go with like, um, you know, a big group and the camp is already set up and they just have to come in and party and then like fly out on their private jet, which is fine. Some people want to do that. That's not really the principles and like what Burning Man is about. Like everybody's supposed to suffer. <laughs> it's part of the experience. So uh, back to the suffering part, it, take, it took us about like maybe 25 hours to drive from San Diego to Burning Man. Um, and once we got there, it was already dark and I had just purchased my bike and my lights um, at Walmart there. So like I basically, we arrived in the dark and I had like, and everybody just wanted to like drive the bikes into the fly right away but you cannot do that without the light so I was like ah everybody wait wait and it was like dark I couldn't see and then, and then I was like installing the lights on my bike and I just did like such a shitty job I thought I would like fix it the next day but it was just like pfft, like this around my bike and I just kept it like that because it was funny but just make sure that that's like one thing that you do beforehand so you're not caught in an emergency situation where everybody's leaving and like you don't have any lights on you another thing uh, make sure that you prepare little gifts for people one of my favorite things about Burning Man is that um, you get to give people gifts and you also get gifts. Uh, one year I remember I bought like a bunch of little crystal necklaces and like I put them in like little pouches and I would just I gave them to my campmates and I would just give them to people that like I found special that like I met that I really liked. Another gift that someone gave me that was probably the dopest most thoughtful amazing gift ever. This girl DIY'd little mini rose face sprays and put like a Burning Man label in the year and like her like Instagram or something. So like Imagine like you're dancing in a hot desert and like somebody's giving and she was keeping them in the cooler too I was like, are you kidding me? Are you an angel? Um, and she gave me this like little rose mist I still have the bottle somewhere and that that was probably like the dopest gift I ever got a burning man Another one if you don't want to spend a lot of money or like you don't have the time or you don't want to put the effort into like making things um, My friend just got a bunch of these uh, Colgate little toothbrushes with the bead in it and I have never seen so much joy on people's faces, like especially if they're partying into the sunrise and they've already been there for like five to six hours. So like they get a little toothbrush and they're like, ah, like they get so excited. So that's like another little thing you can do. Dust goggles and dust mask, um, obviously that's like on any checklist of Burning Man, you need that. But my number one advice with that, always, always make sure that you bring them with you. And this might be obvious to some of you, I've made the mistake of just getting on the bike, getting so excited to go chase my friends around that I wouldn't bring them because there was no like sandstorm. It's like, oh, it's a calm day, whatever. 10 minutes later, complete white out and you're like, <gasps> like it's like your entire vision gets up, like you're just breathing. It's a, it's a disaster if you don't have that. Like you, you really do need to have your dust mask or some kind of bandana and your goggles on you at all times. Make sure that you bring earplugs because depending on where your camp is located, if it's located closer to Esplanade, which is where everything is and all the art cars and all the craziness, it might be really loud at all times. So if you want to have a little nap or if you want to sleep at all while you're there make sure that you bring earplugs and get the ones that are like the specific like putty that like really goes in your ear um because otherwise you're not going to be able to sleep like my my camp and my rv was literally like in the middle of everything and it was so loud at all times of the day that i just had to like basically stuff my ears up to my brain to be able to sleep <laughs> food wise um i love getting a good meal a burning man now i was lucky enough i stayed at casbah which i love casbah if you guys are interested to stay there 
reach out to them on Facebook, really dope people, amazing camp, loved it so much. Um, at Casba we had dinner every day at 8pm, so that was perfect, so we didn't have to worry, so I didn't have to worry like about meals too much, because sometimes at festivals you just forget to eat, like you're drinking, going around, doing whatever, and you just forget to eat, so it's nice to know that your um, camp provides one meal. My old camp was Trifacta, and we had like breakfast, um, but where I'm going with this, we also had a lot of food that we brought with us in the RV and I was responsible for cooking and I had so much fun cooking, like I would always either make breakfast, like bring a lot of frozen items, the one thing that really helped us, we pre-made these really dope burritos, like we didn't buy them, we actually made them with really nice fresh ingredients and just stuffed our freezer with it because you know sometimes you just have to like run quick, you don't have time to like cook an entire thing and you don't want to be in your hot RV because you never know what's gonna be with the air conditioning. So just bring a lot of frozen items that you can just throw in the mar microwave and just make something, even like frozen smoothie packets, like stuff like that. Um, I don't wanna go too much into like what goes into preparing an RV and rentals and all that stuff. You can find that stuff online. But the one thing, if you wanna take one thing out of this video that I wish I knew, and I will never make that mistake again, Make sure that you prepay for somebody to come in and change your water tank and empty your, your uh, septic tank. Septic tanks is like basically where all your stuff goes, like when you use the bathroom in your RV or you shower. Oh my God. Like I had so much fun at Burning Man and I'm not a bougie person. Like, you know, stuff will happen. Like sometimes you don't get to shower. Sometimes you run out of water a little, then you come back. Like it's fine. You know, you just kind of go with it. You go with the experience, you go to the porta party, everything's fine. The one thing that really, really kind of put a damper on my experience, especially happening towards the end of the trip, because towards the end of the trip, like you're already kind of depleted, like you've been drinking, some people do other stuff, like you're, you haven't even, um, you know, you haven't slept much, you're just like, your, your natural resources are running very low already. So both years we ran out of water <laughs> and also we didn't empty our septic tank. I think we like did it by hand one time, which was absolutely horrid. Uh, but what that means is you can't use the bathroom in your uh, RV, you can't shower, you can't do anything. You can't even like, you know, cook a meal with water. You have to go and like borrow from other people, which is annoying as is because some people also don't wanna use up their water, you know? Um, so make sure that you prepay to somebody to come in Put in a new water tank, put in the, you know, so you can so you're able to flush the toilet, do your whatever you need to be doing, because that, that, if that doesn't happen, big problem. And lastly, like I mentioned, you do not want to make trash anywhere, you do not want to leave trash behind. You want to be using as many reusable utensils as you possibly can. Um, I personally got like this little uh, cup from Amazon, it's like a metal cup from Amazon with a clamp and I just clamped it to my belt or to my little backpack and also ha it came with like a little foldable spork with, uh, and you put it like in, co in a container as well. Because you always want to make sure that you have those with you and you're not creating any trash and also you never know, um, there's bars everywhere and and they're free so all you have to do you just come up with your own cup and you get refilled I'll try to find like a really good um, cup with a clamp uh, on Amazon and link some of these stuff below to like kind of help you guys out oh before I forget um, there's a temple of Burning Man where everybody goes it's one of the more special things about Burning Man is like people bring not just their you know they, they don't just come to party and like go wild and go crazy but people just kind of come to heal their soul and recover and they bring all kinds of different issues and stuff that they kind of have the playa take care of so one thing that they have that's really special I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it like shit uh, is the temple so people put like pictures of their loved ones that passed away or if they just went through a really bad breakup they'll just put like the little items like you just you just bring whatever that you like that's heavy on you or or even doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing maybe you just had something really special happen and just go put it in the temple and at the end they burn the temple so it's kind of like a very healing experience from everyone oh my god I keep getting chills talking about it um, and it's also like very special because as they're burning the temple it's just complete silence um, it's 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 really dull on that note um, if you're going to Burning Man I hate you because I want to go. <laughs> but also congratulations, you're about to have one of the most amazing experiences ever. Don't think too much into it. I feel like a lot of people are very nervous and scared about Burning Man. Bring your good energy, bring your good vibes, bring a good positive attitude. Know that you're going to struggle. Um, not everything is going to be easy, you know. You're going to have to contribute, you're going to have to help in some way. Uh, bring 
everything that you can in order to make also other people's lives there easier um, and just have fun enjoy yourself go see some art go meet some cute people and um, yeah I will be here uh, very jealous <laughs> if you found this helpful please give this video a like and also uh, leave me a comment down below if you have ever been to Burning Man or if you uh, have any crazy Burning Man stories I would love to hear those anyway on that note I love you guys so much and I wish you an amazing beautiful week stay gorgeous what I don't know bye <laughs>